Hello friends, welcome to another session of video tutorial on robot framework. If you are an existing subscriber, thanks for all the support. If you are a new visitor or a regular visitor to this channel, please subscribe to this channel. To subscribe to this channel, click on subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that whenever I post a new video, you get the updates. In the last session, we have seen how to work with uh, data driven uh, test cases using robot framework. Uh, in today's session, uh, we are going to cover um, the suite setup and suite teardown. So far, we have seen a few test cases. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine two test cases. So one is the login one and the other one is A-B testing, which we have done before. Okay, so first thing is let me copy this. And I'm going to create a new file here. And I'm going to call it as setup teardown. Dot robot. Okay, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy it from the first test, which is login to Heroku app. pasted it okay after copying the first test case so I'm going to copy the next test case which is um, a B testing variation mm -hmm. and I'm going to add this to this particular robot file Okay, after creating this uh, um, robot file, so what I have done here is I have copied the two test cases. One is login to Heroku app and AB testing here. I have modified the test case as well. I have removed the logout functionality. In, under test case one, we have login to Heroku app and close the browser. And under test case two, it will click on AB testing link and then close the browser. In the earlier session, we have used the variables uh, for A-B testing variation. So I have hard coded it here. So that is the only change which I have done. And apart from that, um, everything else remains same. Okay, so now I have two test cases. So let me run this and see whether this still works. Okay, right click. The first test case is logging in. Okay, and close the browser. The second test case is opening the browser again and then clicking on that link and closing the browser. So what we are doing here is we are repeating open browser as well as close browser here. Since the two test cases here, are common to this particular website I need not have to close the browser I need to open it only once and run these two test cases and then close the browser right so how do I do it my precondition is open the browser with a particular URL and my post condition is close the browser after all the test cases are done for the precondition, I can use um, something called suite setup. Okay, this goes under settings. Okay, so uh, suite setup followed by a keyword. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have another keyword here uh, for clarity's sake. I'm going to have initialize keyword and I'm going to have open browser. So this open browser under initialize will open the browser and goes into 
this particular URL. So this is the base URL. Okay. Now, and I'm going to have uh, another keyword as close down. And here I'm just going to use close browser. Okay. Okay. I have created two more keywords and I'm going to make use of these keywords in this. Okay. Sweet setup is a precondition followed by two spaces and I'm going to call the keyword initialize here. And I want to close the browser after all my test cases are done. That is my post condition for this particular suite. So for that, I'm going to make use of another keyword, which is built in. Okay, save this. Under open browser, I need to add Chrome as well. Okay, so here uh, I'm going to remove this open browser because that is the first thing which will get done whenever we run this suite. Okay, and I'm going to get rid of close browser as well from all the test cases. Okay, so if you look at login to Heroku app, we were directly going into login. That means we were using this particular URL. Okay, this particular URL. Since it is going to the base URL, now I need to click on this to go to login page okay for that I need to inspect and then copy this paste here and I'm going to make use of this click link which we have done for the other okay I have used the click link um, with the text containing form authentication so that it goes into the form authentication before it performs any other operation okay so since we have done all the modifications here so let me run this right click okay so it opened the browser okay clicked on login it ran the first test case okay you see what the problem here is it ran the first test case okay because the browser was open and then it went into login page and I put in the username and password and clicked on login button and after that okay and after that 
it couldn't find this particular link that is because once we go into this login page then we have to get back to the home page before we click on a b testing okay so we need to add that missing part here okay so what we need to do here is uh, we need to quickly fix this issue by going back to the home page after the test cases after the first test case is done so i can either include that in the keyword which is login to heroku app so that it goes back but instead i choose to do it here in the test case itself so after logging to heroku app i'm going to go back to the main url which is this here okay so go to is another keyword which is available and it will go to this particular url after the first test case is complete okay so you can write a keyword uh, to go back to home page uh, you know um, and you can call it as go back to home page and then you can call it here or you can call it to whichever the test case uh, wherever it is needed whichever the test case needs you know uh, to go back to home page okay so we have added this particular uh, part here uh, to fix this issue now we rerun this okay I click external tools run robot test okay it's okay so you see that it went back to the home page and it clicked on a B testing so as you can see there were two test cases and both passed okay so a quick recap um, in this what I have done is I have combined the two test cases and so the the, the two I have combined the two test cases one is log into a page and the other one is clicking the a B testing link and we also introduced two keywords uh, one is switch setup and switch teared on uh, for that we have added two more keywords one is to initialize the browser and close the browser okay uh, switch setup will initialize whatever is in that particular keyword before it executes any test case so that means all the initialization part uh, before your test suite runs will go into this particular uh, suite setup keyword um, and the, and all the cleanup activities after the test case after all the test cases are run that will go under suite teardown okay so this is how we can make use of uh, suite setup and suite teardown that is the end of this session Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, suggestions, please post it under comment section under the video. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.